Exploring the Deep Dark Sea, new and updated by Gail Gibbons. A large ship has reached its destination far out to sea. The scientists, oceanographers, and other experts aboard are exploring the deep dark sea. These explorers know that nearly three-fourths of the Earth's surface is covered by oceans, and they know that those vast seas can be shallow or as much as 36,000 feet deep. The floor of the ocean can be flat for miles or it can be mountainous. According to this ship's depth finder, the sea floor lies 7,500 feet directly below the ship. The weather is clear and calm, perfect conditions for today's mission. Two oceanographers and a pilot climb into a submersible. This small craft is a diving vessel that can measure, record video, and collect samples of water, plants, and animals found in the ocean. The pilot skillfully maneuvers the submersible, submersible wherever the researchers want to go beneath the surface of the ocean. Inside, the pilot tests the cameras, life support systems, underwater lights, mechanical arms, and all other systems. The hatch closes with a gentle thud. It, fastened, it is fastened and secured. All systems go, the pilot announces. Prepare to dive. The submersible is lifted and moved out over the water where it is lowered and released. At first, it bobs on the sea's surface. Then, as water flows into the ballast tanks, the submersible slowly sinks away from its mother ship in a mass of bubbles. What an amazing view! Rays of sunlight flash through the warm blue water. The submersible drops about 100 feet per minute. 200 feet, the pilot says into a microphone, transmitting their depth to the mother ship. Jellyfish, herring, mackerel. The sunlight zone. The submersible is in the sunlight zone, the area from the water surface to about 450 feet. In this shallow part of the ocean, sunlight supports many forms of plant life, both big and small. This is where most marine plants, fish, and other sea creatures live. Tiger shark, porpoise, tuna, humpback whale is a mammal. A mammal gives birth to its young other creatures lay eggs. Cod, dolphin, skate. All living things are part of the world's food chain. The oceanic part of the food chain includes the tiniest plants and fish up to the largest marine animals. Their survival depends on one another. As the submersible continues to sink with sea creatures darting about, the sea begins to grow darker and colder. 450 feet. The twilight zone. The small craft now passes into the twilight zone from 450 feet to 3,300 feet down. At first, the water here is very dark blue. Sunlight fades. It is too dark here for plants to grow. Look, a squid calls out one of the researchers. Black star eater, jellyfish. We're now at 1,500 feet. The water becomes even darker. The cameras record the vessel's lights turn on, then off again. Suddenly, quick flashes appear. These twinkling lights are made, made by the amazing sea creatures living here. They are bioluminescent and can only be seen in the dark. Many deep sea creatures create their own bioluminescence with special light organs. A flashlight fish 
can be seen from a hundred feet away. The lanternfish has a light has light organs on its head and body. Red comb jelly. These creatures of the twilight zone use their bioluminescence to survive. Some send out light patterns to attract mates. Others blind their predators with quick flashes of light. Some camouflage themselves by using light organs on their undersides to blend in with any light flickering from above. As many as four-fifths of all creatures in the oceans are bioluminescent. Lightfish, black dragonfish, the anglerfish uses a luminous lure to catch food. The hatchetfish uses light organs for camouflage. Approaching 3,300 feet, it's now pitch black. The water is much colder. The pilot and the ocean oceanographers are safe because the submersible was designed to withstand the tremendous water pressure surrounding it. Down this deep, the water pressure is as much as a hundred times greater than the air pressure on land. Sloan's viperfish, arrowworm, vampire squid. The dark zone. It's amazing down here, the pilot reports. We're at 4,500 feet and we're recording video. The dark zone lies between 3,300 feet, 1,000 meters, and 13,000 feet, 3,900 meters below the water surface. Some of the creatures moving about look weird and scary. Some are hunters, others are scavengers, eating what floats down from above. Dragonfish, viperfish, deep sea anglerfish, snipe eel. As the submersible descends, there are fewer and fewer creatures, only those that have evolved to adapt to their severe surroundings. Food is scarce. Many of the fish have huge jaws and expandable stomachs and often eat prey as big as they are. Gulper eel, red comb jelly. At last, the submersible nears the ocean floor, 5,000 feet, 6,000 feet, 7,000 feet. We've touched bottom about 7,500 feet. The pilot guides a mechanical arm to gather samples for study. Lights from the submersible flash on the ocean floor. The water pressure is extremely powerful, 200 times greater than on the Earth's surface. Sea cucumber, snipe eel, starfish, Deep sea anemone, brittle star, rat tail, deep sea crab. The tripod fish props itself up on land on long fins and the fins locate food beneath the muddy ocean floor. The researchers collect specimens until all the sample containers are full. They also take numerous still photos. The video camera continues to run. Basket sponge, sea cucumber, deep sea prawn, brittle star, sun star, urchin. In about four hours, the research is complete. The pilot radios the mothership that it is time to surface. The submersible steadily makes its ascent. The water changes from black to dark blue to light shades of green and blue until the submersible breaks through the surface of the smooth ocean waters. A cable is attached to the craft 
It is lifted from the sea to the ship's deck. The hatch is opened and the passengers climb out. Mission accomplished. Everyone on board the ship gathers around to see what was retrieved from down below. The specimens will be cleaned, identified, and studied in the ship's lab. The photos and videos will be viewed. What new discoveries will be made this time? The Abyss. Maybe next time, the crew will explore even deeper parts of the ocean. Below the dark zone is the abyss, between 13,000 feet, 4,000 meters, and 20,000 feet, 6,000 meters. Today, the deepest diving submersible, the Geolong, can dive more than 23,000 feet, 7,000 meters. To go even deeper, unmanned ROVs, remotely operated vehicles, are used. Some of them are small enough to slip into tight spaces. Deep sea squid, glass sponges, sea spider, brittle so star, sea pen. ROVs are remotely controlled by cable from a submersible or ship. They are equipped with manipulator arms, powerful lights, and cameras that send images directly to the mothership. The few creatures who live here in the abyss are small, largely because there's not a lot of food. Rat tail, deep sea anemone, sea cucumber. The abysmal, the abyssal plains cover almost half of the deep sea floor. The Hadal Zone, below the abyss, beginning at about 20,000 feet, 6,000 meters, is where deep cracks in the ocean floor called trenches are found. The Mariana Trench in the Pacific Ocean is the deepest part of all the oceans at 36,000 feet, 11,000 meters deep. Only specific adapted sea creatures can live in this intense water pressure where food is scarce, the temperature is icy, and no light penetrates. Deep sea cucumber, polychaete worm, deep sea anemone. Not long ago, people believed that deep oceans and the ocean beds were lifeless how could anything survive in the endless blackness? During the 1960s, a deep diving, deep diving submersibles came into use. They revealed a whole new underwater world. New forms of plant and animal life have been and will be discovered in the deep dark sea. Giant clams, white crab, black smoker chimney, Elf out, squat lobster, tube worms. 